Hello everyone, welcome to the itchymurphycharts.com daily analysis for the S&P 500 for Wednesday, November the 4th. Well, a very interesting trading day today. And we can see that we have a very small uh, red body candle, virtually no body to this candle, and that's a uh, doji type candle. And uh, the interesting thing is this very long shadow on the top of the candle. That very long shadow on the top there represents downside price rejection. We have this market trying to rally. The market um, is now in a first time frame downtrend. But as the market rallied up outside of the cloud of the Kumo, the sellers came in and sold the market off very, very strongly to close the market back down near where it opened, down near the low. So the bulls have shown very little power for the day. They were quite strong when they pushed the market back up here to uh, the high, but the sellers have come in with uh, a very strong move to close the market down within the cloud. Now, as I've said previously, when the market's trading within the cloud, it's essentially uh, neutral. Trading above the cloud, it has a positive bias, and below the cloud, a negative bias. So this market is attempting to rally, but the sellers are coming in and, uh, and selling the market off. Now, uh, we highlighted before that when this Kijin Sen turns flat, it tends to be an attractor of price action, and price action has been attracted back up towards there. It's held as resistance, and the sellers have come in and sold the market off. The, uh, as I've said, the trend in the first time frame is up. We have a change of trend uh, with a high, high, and a high, low. That's fairly important for this market, but the short-term dynamics are saying that the bulls aren't um, necessarily wanting to go on with this uptrending move. In the uh, second time frame, the uh, market is in a, a downtrend, and we have a uh, peak, a trough, a lower peak, and a lower trough once we took out that um, trough there, and then once again we have a trough, a peak, and a lower trough here. So here we may be setting up for another um, lower peak, and then potentially a lower trough if we take out the swing low at 1,029. Now we know that um, when the um, cloud here turns flat and we have breakouts above, they tend to be, uh, well they can be false breakouts and that's what's happening here. The good thing is that we're not getting any closes up above uh, the uh, cloud or the Kumo that may potentially give a signal to uh, to go long. So what we'd want to see if we do have a close outside of the cloud or the Kumo, we'd like to see a positive close, a, a rather bullish close for um, us to take any uh, any. Uh, potential long trades that might arise from that. Now we are still trading down below the Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen, which means that the market is negative, uh, but overall the market is, is neutral, so we need to be careful of taking any uh, any negative signals that we may get from the uh, Kijun, trading below the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen. The uh, Tenkan Sen is still trading above the Kijun Sen, although they're both very close together. So what we basically have here is a market that's showing very strong signs of being in equilibrium, trying to uh, trade in either way, not doing that very well. So um, a market in equilibrium, as we know, markets move from disequilibrium to equilibrium. So what we should expect at any time, we don't know when it will happen, but uh, we should expect the market to move in into disequilibrium, which will mean that the market will trend in, in a direction. Uh, now there is strong support down below here through the Kumo, um, support here at this 1041 level, which needs to be watched, the market failed to close down there on the two previous occasions. Support down at 1018, and then all the way down to the 1000, if the market now does break um, down to the downside below the um, cloud of the Kumo at the 1000 level round number. To the upside, obviously, the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen are providing resistance for the market. Then we have the previous uh, important swing high in 1080, and then the 1100 up to 1106 region to the upside. So um, some good solid resistance on the upside, some good solid support on the downside. Um, the market is pretty much directionless at the moment. Mm -hmm.